Now, in order to do so, we will introduce some factor called scale factor. Like this. In regular equation, you have x, you have y, you have z as the size in x and y, z direction. Okay? If I define another one called x hat, if I, multi I divide the original size in x direction with some length, some certain length, okay? L0 here is called characteristic length. Same thing for y, I will set it up, y divided by characteristic length. Now, if you consider unit, x has unit of meter, length has unit of meter as well. So this ratio becomes dimensionless for z as well. Okay? Then, what else do we have? What kind of variables do you have? We also have velocity. Velocity has unit of meter per second. So I'm going to define another velocity with no unit as the ratio of velocity, the actual velocity, divided by V0. V0 here, it's called characteristic velocity. Okay? Also, del. Del has unit of per meter. I'm going to define another operator called del hat. Del hat is defined by I d by dx hat plus j d by dy hat and k d by dz hat. But we know that x hat here is equal to x over L0. So I can write this way. I d by dx divided by L0. zero here is characteristic length. It is a constant, one certain value. So all three are the same. So I'm to flip it on the nominator side and take it out. Okay. What we have inside the parentheses here is basically original del. So we can have new del with no unit as a function of old del with a unit. Okay? Now, I want to show you the conversion of one equation to dimensionless form. And then for other equation, for equation of motion, principles are the same. Okay. 
So from equation of continuity, del dot v equal to zero. We know that del here with a unit can be converted to del without unit simply equal to del without unit divided by L0. Right? These are dotted with V. V here is here is equal to V0 times V with a, without unit. Equal to zero. Okay? Since both L0 and V0 are constant, then they are scalar. They can be taken out from dotting dot operator. So you will have V0 over L0. Inside would be del hat dot V hat equal to zero. And they're both constant, so it can be dropped. So at the end, you get this equation. Similarly, for equation of motion, Okay. In this equation of motion, you have more terms than we have defined before. You have time, you have pressure, and you have Laplacian here that has unit. So essentially, we would do the same thing. Define time without unit, define pressure without unit, and then define Laplacian without unit and repeat the same process, okay? By doing that, what you have would be something like this. here are they look the same as original equation with the unit except this term okay every other term looks the same so we have one additional term and as you notice here this term is 1 over Reynolds number Okay, so basically Reynolds number here appears when we try to convert equation of motion that has unit back to the form without unit and you pop Reynolds number out. Have you ever asked who invented Reynolds number? How do they know? Reynolds number is supposed to be rho dv over mu, right? They're just not trying to fit variables around. Reynolds number would be results from converting equation of motion with unit into equation of motion without unit. This one would pop out, okay? So how we use this dimensionless form would be exactly the same as what we did earlier. We just change everything into dimensionless form. Once you define everything in dimensionless form, and then you get velocity profile, that velocity profile will be in dimensionless form as well. 
So that velocity profile can be applied to system with any size. Okay? So when you design the tank based on velocity profile or when you design a piping, if you use velocity profile without unit, then you can scale it up, scale it down easily. All right, that's just a concept. This part in dimensionless part will not be in the examination. Okay, it's just a concept because I think it is com important. Any question? All right, if there is no question, that's it for today. Um, next week, I'm going to finish uh, momentum transport. <laughs>